Hello, I'm Blizznub, and welcome to Building the Best. I, did I do that funny? Do I always do that funny? Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Torrid. Now the Torrid is a clam weapon from the Infested Labs, which is absolutely ridiculously good on defenses and survivals. And I'm going to explain why. Now my build only has three former and a cata, and it's relatively speaking conservative. Most people go for a pure damage build on the Torrid, and have all of the elemental, the pure elemental mods down the bottom, and actually I've seen adhesive blast on the last slot, but that's weird, I don't... Uh, anyhow, so Torrid is insanely good because it fires a little grenade, or with split chamber 2, which sticks to surfaces, and for about 5 seconds will cause a little AoE of whatever elemental damage type you have on it, which in this case would be Blast Corrosive, or we can swap out for Gas Magnetic, in fact we can swap for anything. The point is, that little AoE is insanely effective if you have high status chance. So I have of course put all four of the dual stat mods on, along with Serration Heavy Cannon Split Chamber, as status procs are only affected by base damage on the weapon, the elemental damage from these four mods actually won't affect them. And Continuous Misery to finish off the status build and give us that lovely double duration. Now, just saying, if you don't like my elemental combinations, I know a lot of people don't, you just swap the mods. It's really simple. <laughs> Blast Corrosive, of course, I choose because it's good against the um, the more difficult infested and uh, grenier enemies, although it does fall off against corpus, the blast will actually ragdoll and not ragdoll, it will stagger enemies inside the AoE, which will mean the Torah can actually apply more elemental procs to it. Although it's fair to say that you could just have electricity to do the same job. I kind of need malignant force on here for the extra status chance. Anyhow, enough about that, let's go and try this thing. I can only think of one way I can really show exactly what this is capable of. So we're going to go to an exterminate. And I'm going to run to the end. I'm just going to run straight to the end and try and ignore as many enemies as I can. I may have to take out ramparts on the way, but we will see. I get the long spawn. God damn it. Okay, so now I've made it to extra hello bombard. Now I've made it to extraction, and all of the grenier have decided to follow me. We can see just how much damage this weapon does. So I'm gonna fire it into that crowd, and we can see everyone is immediately ragdolled by the blast, whilst the corrosive grinds down their armor and their health, and it makes this weapon incredibly effective. But the reason I am taking this particular tactic and killing, killing my frame rate is because the weapon's ammo efficiency actually isn't that good. The weapon is slow firing, only has a five round magazine, and takes special ammo. The reload is also quite slow, so you really do have to think carefully about where you're going to be placing your shots. In covering a doorway or an entrance into an area, or a small frost snow globe is extremely effective. You can see I've dealt with a rather large amount of grenier fairly easily using this. And whilst my build does deal about 15,000 damage, rather than the damage, it's more the status procs helping me out here keeping the enemy ragdolled so that they can't deal that much damage to me whilst taking their armor down. And it's fair to say that if you were going up against Corpus, the same thing would be true of a viral gas build. The gas would slowly tick through their health whilst the magnetic damage kept their shields low so that they would, wouldn't be a threat to you if you actually had to go for kills instead of just control. But this is definitely a weapon for controlling the enemy, not just 
slaughtering them. Although, to be fair, it does a fairly good job of both. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. I'm Blusnup. This is, of course, the Torrid. Uh, please like and comment below and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you.